for Dash Winning Mary Leaves the Days, Moon Monday in my city, Chicago. May the 6th, 2024. At least what they say. Long story short, this is uh gonna be entitled Oprah Part Five, just so I can correct some things that I uh, made a mistake back when I um did Oprah Part One through Four about ten years ago. I put them uh videos in the description of this video, Oprah Part Five. Now nothing happens in this world by mistake. I said that I gave up one for my child abuse rap in nineteen. 86 but it was actually 1984 now she met Stetton Graham her boo in 1986 why because they always troll the ones that I'm around or whatever and stuff you know and when a person see you coming up you know they want to come up with you so nothing happens in this world by mistake and I believe that uh my higher power wanted Oprah and my youngest niece D.I. Nelson aka Didi to tell the truth, because I read my child abuse rap before I gave it to Oprah Winfrey to my youngest niece, Dion Nelson, when she was about 12 and I was 17 in 1984, and not 1986. Okay, so now that we got that straight, you understand what I'm saying? I believe my higher power wanted both, like I said, Oprah and my youngest niece, Dion Nelson, to tell the truth. And that's how we gonna goddamn win this motherfucking goddamn reparations or whatever and whatever happens to me happens to you long story short tupac got out of prison allegedly according to google october the 14th 1995 for 1.4 million dollars and signed on with should to death row why because they dogged my steps and they knew in december 26 1995 I gave Oprah Winfrey my child abuse story on three cassette tapes, front and back to the sound of music and the Martin Luther King, I have a dream speech I put my voice to. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And they saw me coming up once again. So they got Tupac out and he came out with California Love and part of the song say, they put their Mac down, show me love, which means California put the Mac down, and that's why the LA is going down, and that's why in 2008, this has nothing to do with what I'm saying, but I'm gonna throw it in there. 2018, I should say, you know, the uh, California Paradise fires, you know, consumed a lot of motherfuckers and shit. Real fucking talk, because God is trying to tell them something. Because once again, they was harassed me. Might as well throw this in too. In 2018, you know, at the Muster C A eight meeting while I was staying sober, harassed me and I had to go to jail for a couple of hours or whatever and stuff. So I believe, you know, God is trying to tell him something. Now back to, you know, me and 1995. And in 1995, like I said, I gave open my story again, December 26, 1995. But they allegedly said that, you know, December the 8th of 1995, a doctor at John Madden, hospital psych ward in Hines, Illinois, you know, had me sign a, a, a form, you know, for me to get a crazy check. You understand what I'm saying? And I knew he was deceiving me because I wasn't in the psych ward on December 8th, 1995. So what they did, they back dated it to make it seem as though when I wrote Oprah, allegedly, you know, in they mind or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? I was on the psych ward, which I was not. I was free. I was at 5419 South Woodlot Avenue in my city, Chicago, apartment 1A with Mario and Donna Marie Evans. Real talk, when I sent her my three cassette tape and my um, story again, and all because she, Oprah Winfrey, on... December 26, 1995, you know, on her show, the Oprah show, wanted people to write in about, you know, who, who they thought, you know, was a, does a good job 
in their life or whatever. So I wrote, is you Oprah that does a magnificent job, right? And I dated the letter, December 26, 1995, 10 o'clock a.m., right after I had watched our show, obviously. And to prove that Oprah, you understand what I'm saying, was on some finesse stuff, Kitty Kelly, the writer, a white lady, wrote a book called Oprah. And in the foreword of the book on page seven, it said that Oprah, you know, had her people sign a consent form in 1995. Now, why would she do all that if, you know what I mean, it had nothing to do with me? But not only that, and Oprah know this to be a fact. I sent her some of my pictures as a little girl, real tough, and, you know, other pictures. And she sent them back to the address, 5419 South Woodline Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. Apartment 1A in my city. Real talk. Chicago. And it was not um, on or before uh, December 8, 1995. It was after December 26, 1995. Now, with that said, this the one. I'm the originator of rap since the age of 8, 1975. God knows I ain't lying. Coming from behind with the Bible. I come from behind to get mine. This is Romans chapter 4, 5, 6, and 7. The 4 is not visible. You understand? Like the big 5 is. I was born May 25th, 1967. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. Okay? Now, Oprah needs to just stop lying to the people because whatever happens to me happens to you real talk so you read it you read the bible open you know how to read right and um as far as tupac knowing everything i saved him in 1995 because when i put my voice to the uh, sound of music i said they talked to you for me and that's why he came up with machiavelli and i also said i already know i'm worth more dead than i am alive you understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And they got a lot of good information out of me. So that's the wrap-up portion of uh, Oprah, you know, part five. But I really wanted to reiterate that it was 1984 at the age of 17 when she first got my child abuse rap. Real motherfucking talk. And I believe I said 86 because of Stepman. And it sublimely was trying to tell her to step her game up because it's always the ones closest to you that'll kill you. And with that, this is your ghetto news reporter, Mary Lee, a.k.a. Mary Mac, originator of rap since the age of eight, 1975. One more. This the nine. It's going to always be Ten City, Chicago. It's called Devotion for a Reason. Step your game up. Peace.